windows that we can open. And then we're like, well, maybe for like the four days you can, you can open up. Uh oh, no sound. I, I think so. You can hear me now? Yeah. I said good morning and I said hello, welcome. It's a happy Friday and it's perfect, great, amazing weather here in Texas. So, uh, can you hear me now? We're good? Good? There we are. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was just saying that the girls walked in and, and we were like, it's so perfect. Like, it's sunny. I'm just, I just have, like, our Texas days are like, we get like really cold. We get really, 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 really hot. And then there's like, every once in a while, there's these like perfect days. So it's a perfect day. And we were like, can we move the live outside? That's what we're talking about. They're like, can we move the live outside today? Because that's how nice everyone wants to be outside. It's like perfect 70 degree weather. So anyway, good morning. Happy launch day. You guys are all coming on and you can all hear me. So sorry about that. Glitch. Um, hi guys. Let's see. Cheryl's on. Hi, Donna, Tracy, Debbie, Kathy from Maryland. Natalie's on from Oregon. We have a good launch today. We actually um, had, we were, we were really crossing our fingers that a truck of Mel's faves would arrive and it like slid in the door last night and we did everyone, the whole team, like did all they could to scramble and get it up on the launch today. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, good morning for those of you tuning in for the first time. My name is Melissa, owner and designer here at graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company who um, we make clothes that help you look good and feel good. So this is, we are still in our transition to spring launches, although next week, I believe we transition in, into our official spring launches. So um, we've got lots of fun things today. We're gonna talk about the deals going on in a second, but first we're gonna talk about what we're launching. So Mel's Fave Denim, two washes, a restock of the original color wash. We have our repurposed denim vest in a wash black. A lot of you VIPs <laughs> that are watching today have been waiting for this one. This one was actually supposed to launch in fall was a fiasco and finally it's here to launch right now. The good thing about that is that can be worn year round. Okay, we've got cropped uh, leggings launching. We have one of my favorite, personal favorite sweatshirts of all time. Can't wait to talk to you about that. Um, in two really, really great colors. We have a really good, um, our, our cami's back in this really amazing uh, floral print, stretchy, wrinkle free. We have a top that I said, um, we need to make sure that we make in basic tops because this material and the way the stretches and we're going to talk about that and i wish we would have just made it in basic tees as well because it's probably one of the best fitting tops i've ever made made and then like i said mel's fave back in the original wash of the distress that started the whole craze <laughs> kind of talked about that on our vip page plus a dark nice solid nice dark wash like your nice dressy classy denim that's not too blue not i mean per perfection i've got them on okay but first i want to make sure that i announce we've got a couple of deals going on ah! so first is our launch day deal so the launch day deal is if you buy a repurposed denim vest today you get 35 percent off other layering basics so here are i need to bring these up so you can see it hold on let me see Okay, we've got different layering ba basics. This is so 30% off. Make sure you check with what this deal is on because there's a lot of these bases. This is just like a sample of a couple of them that are valid for the layering basics, but you get that with code layer it. Okay, so body suits, basic tees, things honestly that go great with layering underneath that denim vest. And that honestly, that's what when we talk about that denim vest, that's what really it's great for. Like denim vests aren't really made to keep you warm. <laughs> I mean, they're an extra layer, but they're made to kind of, you know, add a layer to your outfit to enhance your look. So 35% um, off layering basics with code layer it uh, when you purchase a denim vest today. And then we also have a weekend launch day deal launch. No weekend. Hold on, weekend flash sale, <laughs> there we go, going on today. Um, this, the linen jacket, you guys, is 20 bucks for that flash sale, and then these button fly um, repurposed straight leg denim are $25, and this is the weekend sale going on um, through the weekend, okay? So the other deal, the 35% off layering basics with the purchase of the denim vest is today only. This sale um, is through the weekend. So this is one of you guys, I have both of these colors. This, um, this is one of my most worn pieces besides Mel's favorite plaids because I like a good light layer and this is a good light natural. The linen material is breathable. It's just one of those that I grab for all the time when I'm looking for a layer and plus, 
if you're looking to make a cute outfit with a go with these dark um, melts faves too. So those deals going on right now. And then finally, you guys are... A uh, sample sale is coming up May 4th here, right here in Austin, Texas. So make sure you're planning for that. Tell your local Texas friends, grab a friend, a neighbor, a mom, a sister-in-law, make a trip out of it. We have a lot of people come in for that sale. Um, it's fabulous. We open our warehouse doors. It won't just be samples. Most of the sample sale will be um, samples from our design room. So what is that? <laughs> what does that look like? Basically, when we create a design, we go through many, many samples. We go through prototypes, we go through um, different fittings. So up one for per one design, we have probably five to six different samples made at bare minimum. Actually, there's probably even more than that, mostly, because we're, we're sampling with fabric too. So um, you'll see different prints, you'll see different colors, you'll see fabric you don't recognize, because a lot of times we have to use just a stock fabric while our um, custom fabric is being made. So those samples are all super, super cheap. They're, everything at that sale is under 25 bucks. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. In addition to that, we have our local warehouse sale going on at the same time. So you shop the samples and shop the local warehouse sale where that's just brand new things that you just walk into our warehouse and shop. Plus we have like $5 pools out. It's, it's really, really a big event. So bring your friends, tell your friends, make a trip out of it if you're not local. It's a really great time. And that is May 4th, Saturday, May 4th. Okay. Um, can we get started? Was that all my announcements? That was all my announcements, okay. We're actually gonna get started with the uh, repurposed denim vest. Last spring, I'm just gonna have a full real dark outfit on for you right now. My launch day tank on, I've got the new Mel's Faves on, and we're just adding a black, black vest into this mix. Um, last year, we launched the, um, the repurposed denim vest in a light blue wash last spring, and you guys loved it, ate it up, Said it was one of your favorite things so we um, made sure that we came back well came back in the fall <laughs> with this color um, but yes things happen and it's here now thankfully it's here now the great thing about it though is that these are great layerable pieces in really any time of the year but honestly with spring with spring skirts um, skorts uh, color denim I mean all things you can kind of throw one of these over for the layers so it's our repurposed denim um, which is made out of recycled water bottles, okay? And you have a little bit of the washing. It's not a jet black, it's a soft black. What I love about this, you guys, is I'm a huge fan. I wear a lot of blue denim, is like usually my light blue choice. Um, and I love that this is a washed black because I'm not a big blue de denim on denim wear unless the, one of the denim's a different color. So I love that I can throw this one with my standard, classic, everyday, blue wash of jeans I can throw this on with. So um, it's washed, it has a little bit of the fading, it's that repurposed material so it has stretch in it, okay? Nice and stretchy, has the two pockets on the side. The antique brass um, buttons are branded, button is all the way down that. Um, and then the best feature of all is it has the uh, cell phone pocket, the hidden cell phone pocket on both sides. We all know that vests like this Jackets often, you can't get a real deep pocket into the sides. So that's not somewhere you wanna put your phone or your keys or your wallet or any valuables. Um, so dropping them in here is the best place uh, to put them right inside. So keys, wallet, all can be hands-free and you don't have to worry about it because it drops right inside, okay? This is a true to size to slim fit vest. It's made, like I said earlier, like we're not really, you're not really looking for warmth. You're not really looking to cover up. You're not really, in my opinion, like buttoning um, shut. You're, you're kind of wearing this as like a fashionable layer to kind of show off what you have underneath, especially my outfit doesn't really <laughs> do that when I'm with all my dark, dark on right now. But like a graphic tee or a print or a floral or something underneath this, um, it's used to kind of really enhance and upgrade um, an outfit to the you know, kind of give it a next level, okay? While giving you that nice, great kind of look. So made to kind of sit open, not really made to be close. So it's a slim fit, true to size vest. Same fit as last year, same styling as last year, same thing as last year, just a different color. So if you know what size, if you have the light blue wash from last year, know what size you are, get that size again this year. I like to size down. I go down to the extra small in this um, because I, I don't need to close mine. I like it to sit nice and open. I like to show off because I'm, like I said, I'm wearing it as a layer, but let's bring the girls out. Yes, Marie, same, um, is the same size as the light wash, okay? Okay, so tailoring this, 
and you can kind of see these are really made to build an outfit okay we really want you to like you can enhance your look it just makes it you know if she just had this bodysuit and skirt on it's just kind of a bodysuit and skirt but she kind of puts this on and it gives another dimension to the outfit so it really kind of upgrades completes the look a little bit by throwing this on again not really used for warmth not you don't have sleeves okay it's a vest um but it also just kind of shows off by um what you have underneath if you do long sleeves or short sleeves or uh, you know i have a tank on with mine okay so same sizing same cut same everything as the light wash from the spring um just in the new darker black wash black color okay um let's see from what i'm reading the denim on denim texas <laughs> texas texas tuxedo um some people love it. You got some Texans that love them some blue on blue, denim on denim. It's all just a personal preference. It's all just in trend. It's all just, you know, a fad trend, whatever. I, I just don't really do the denim on denim. Blue and blue, my personal. I like to have the color on the black on the blue or the black on the blue or the color on the blue, whatever. Okay, let's bring, the, let's bring out, uh, let me see this one, okay? So here you go. She's got the wash black with the black. You get a little bit of dimension in the vest. And here's what you can, here's, this is a good view too, to kind of tell the color difference in this as well. well I'm just saw you guys saw my water bottle. There you go. <laughs> um, so it is a wash soft black. It's not jet black. It's supposed to be a soft black kind of casual, really made to be that casual styling. Okay, and Missy's in her normal size small. And this is how I prefer, and we like it to fit, kind of sit open. If she wanted to really button that closed, she would probably have to go up for it. But we're not really, like, we're really kind of intend this to sit open and show what's underneath, okay? Okay, any questions on this one? Let me bring out everyone else, okay? Um, let's see, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry, it always falls on your birthday. Um, okay, no questions, I think. Can they come in? Um, okay, all right. Natalie, this. We're just kind of showing you different things to do. Okay, easy with a long sleeve shirt, easy with a bodysuit, easy with um, just a pair of denim. This is my personal preference is kind of do the blue on, put this on with the blue denim, and then you don't have the denim on denim look, but some people love the blue and blue, and you can do that too as well. Okay, she's got just a simple long sleeve under it, easily makes an outfit that way. And you're in your normal size medium, medium. normal size medium on her. Okay, and then Michelle in this. Another cute option, okay? The colored denim in the bottom. So go in the colored denim, put the black with it. Honestly, you guys, with the wash black, you really can't, you don't need to think twice, okay? It really works to put with any colored denim, which we've colored denim coming for you, okay? And uh, throw a long sleeve or a short sleeve or even a tank top under this, and it's easy peasy, okay? Michelle in her normal size large, and Amanda in this. Okay. And then here's kind of the easy, simple, don't even need to think about it. This is kind of my type of style with the jeans, a white tee, and a vest, denim vest, and there you have an easy put together outfit that didn't take much effort. Okay, so that, um, and Amanda was in her normal size extra large. Any other questions on this? Mm. Jessica says, thank you for the inside pocket. You guys, in my opinion, I try to put this in. <laughs> I try, we try to put this in everything because it really is the handiest. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to put a phone in a small little pocket, not even necessarily on this, but like, it's just not, it's just going to end up falling. Okay. Has, any, has anyone seen, have you guys seen my ad? Has anyone seen my ad yet of this falling out of my pocket everywhere I go? If you see it, make sure to comment on it because, um, that's why we solved that problem by putting them there. Okay. And again, true to size, slim fit intentionally made to kind of sit open um, between sizes. I would go down if you know that you want it to sit open. The material does have stretch as well, but it is like a slim fit design and fit. Okay, any other questions on that? If not, I'm gonna move right along while the girls are changing. We are going on to the mid-weight um, pocket leggings. Okay, our daily pocket leggings. Um, cropped version in our mid-weight daily leggings okay so it's the, the daily leggings that you know love now in a cropped version now last year we did these in cropped as well um this is a little bit this is about an inch and a half shorter in length than what last year's cropped version is so if you have last spring's release of the cropped version that was actually between like here's the thing unless we go by measurements which maybe we should start doing like full length seven th seven eighths <laughs> all those measurements all the way up the cap um cropped can really be I mean, it can be anywhere from underneath to 
what is considered ankle. So this year's cropped is about an inch and a half shorter than last year's cropped. Otherwise, it's the same. It's our same daily legging material that you know and love. Super soft, has that slight brush feel, nice lightweight, light compression. These aren't your compressions, suck you in, make you feel all snatched type of legging. These are your daily legging. This is what you love to be in. This is what feels good on your body. It has that long extended waistband panel right here. Um, that is super soft, no top elastic, nice and stretchy material. And then the best feature is that it has the high hip hidden pocket. We started doing this on our leggings, um, gosh, probably four, maybe four years ago with like our live-in leggings and things like that, where we wanted the benefit <laughs> of pockets, but we wanted to kind of make them discreet. Um, so a lot of times, like when we make our athleisure leggings or our, um, what did we just release? Our squat proof, the ones that are like athletic, okay? Those athletic seams and the, lot, and the pockets are for that athletic look, give that athletic look. This way you can have that pocket here on both sides, but it's high hip. So if you wear any sort of like tunic or top or really anything longer than about this, that pocket stops right here. It's a high hip entry. It doesn't necessarily have to be or necessarily look athletic, okay? Because that's the kind of the benefit of you get the access and the advantage of having the pocket, but it's located high and can be more discreet than something that's athletic, okay? Um, super stretchy, nice, comfortable fit. Order your size that you always are in our leggings. Um, they, like I said, they don't dig, they don't move, they don't, they don't pull on you. They just have that nice, comfortable, stretchy fit. They're tagless, okay? They have just that nice, um, the iron transfer tag on here. So honestly, the word, the name daily legging is perfect for them. Let's bring the girls out, out in them. You're gonna see a million ways, you guys know, there's a million ways to wear leggings. So that's, we don't have to give you any ideas. <laughs> it's the most comfortable thing in But mostly I wanted to see, to show you the length of them, to show you that they are a little bit shorter intentionally. We just wanted to give you a variety in your closet. I know that I'm always like digging. I just recently started to hang my leggings, so now I can tell them visually from length instead of when I was pulling them out of the drawer and I was like, I don't know which legging is which unless I had to hold them up and see the length. So you can see they really are the perfect crop length. They're not ankle, they're not capri they're not like right under the knee, but they're that good like mid calf length that makes them perfect for transitioning seasons. Okay, tailor in your normal size, extra small, and you're gonna see a million different ways that you guys can wear leggings, okay? <laughs> All right, Missy in this. I don't know why my view is so, why I'm, my cup's in the way today. Um, okay, transitional season comfort, weekend wear, sports activities, picking the kids up from school, okay? Million reasons, I, I leggings are my most worn thing ever besides Mel's favorite jeans. Okay, this is what I wear during the week, that's what I wear during the weekend. Um, pair of sneakers, she's got a Lux top on and she's ready to go. She's running around errands, she's ready to run the store, perfect. Okay, Missy and normal, everyone's in their normal size. Okay, Natalie's this. She's gonna get to stay in this outfit probably, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, with the new <laughs> favorite soft wash sweatshirt and then she's got a one. So you're gonna, mainly looking at the length to see where they hit everyone. Everyone's in their normal size, that nice high waist panel, super comfort, not suck you in, it's not tight, it's not pinching, it's just daily comfort, okay? Normal size, Michelle, normal size, <laughs> comfort, loungy around the house, running errands, Pair them with bamboo and that is like dream come true <laughs> outfit. She's got them with bamboo cardigan. She's got them with slippers around the house, Sundays, Saturdays, you know, cozy comfort, cozy comfort. And then Amanda in this, same thing, graphic tee, tied around the waist, you can do sneakers. <laughs> you can do, uh, dress them up as much as you want or dress them down. We all like them for daily comfort wear. They're just the perfect daily legging for that, okay? Normal size, extra large on her. So normal size, restocked, but a tad bit shorter than last year's. So if you have last year's and you're like, well, I have last year's, now you know you can have one a little bit shorter um, in length. And for those of you who are shorter inseamed, um, this will be a little bit shorter on you, which um, sometimes, I think last year's cropped, our feedback was like, oh, well, these are full length on, on me for a shorter inseam. So you'll get a little bit of that um, crop in there, okay? Any questions on those? No questions on those. They're the same dailies that you know and love. Um, let's go on to probably what I, well, I was gonna say what I'm most excited to launch today, but what I'm most excited to launch today are Mel's faves because Mel's faves are Mel's faves, but this is probably a really close second. We have been waiting really long for these to come in. These were actually supposed to be here in January, you guys. 
there's just always, always something, it seems like, when things are supposed to be here and are not here. Okay, the favorite wash, let me make sure, yes, favorite wash pocket sweatshirt in two fabulous colors. Talk about perfect for transitioning seasons. This is it. This is like your sweatshirt, your go-to sweatshirt for transitional because you get the brightness pop, which is perfect for spring, any transitional season in both of these colors. So vibrant blue, let me make sure I get them right. Vibrant blue and bright peach. And you guys know the peach is color of the year. You're gonna see it several ways from us, but I think putting it in this sweatshirt um, was perfection. So the details on this, I'm just gonna show you. So first of all, it's a French terry. It's not our signature soft. When we talk about transitioning seasons, we wanted a material that really felt like you could throw it on, that it didn't necessarily bring you a whole ton of warmth, but it was that easy to throw on, but still had a good weight to it, and that's what this is. So this is the inside of this is the French terry, the baby loop French terry in this. Now, it's washed. It's a garment dye. I'm gonna bring, hold on. I'm gonna make sure I'm not tripping over. I'm gonna bring this up close so you can see. This is a garment dye. It's actually called um, a dirty wash. <laughs> Okay, that's the term, that's the factory term for it. But what it does is each piece is singularly dyed and it washes out in the washing at the seams. It gives it this kind of aged, worn in and dimensional fit. Look, and I think it pulls out all kind of the details in here. So we have like the ribbing here, V, you got the ribbing at the neckline, you have it here at the cuffs, and then you have this ribbed all the way at the side seam here and up the sleeve, okay? This is where the trick is in the fact that we were able to put a Kanga pocket here in this. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about that, okay? So all of that same ribbing runs underneath it, runs at the hemband, and then the best part about this, I'm gonna throw this one on, is this hidden Kanga pocket on the inside. You guys remember, does anyone remember, I actually have a sample of one of these that I've been wearing, we've been working on this for forever. I think it was last spring around this time. Oh no, I was at, I was at Barb's. Does anyone remember when I was at Barb's house on her fire island? Okay, I have this in like a pink version that they just washed out for us, okay. Um, and it's like my go-to. It's It has structure, it's not super flimsy. It has structure and it does that with all the seams, okay. All these seams right here. And then it's got this hidden interior, look at, okay. Pocket right here, so you can put a phone in here, your hands in here, your keys in there. You don't have to worry about pocket bags flapping back and forth. We really wanted to keep that nice and structured. So it's like having a hoodie, but you don't have the big hood on the back. You don't have the big visible, you know, Kanga pocket right here. It's a hidden Kanga pocket. So that pocket access is on both sides, okay? It's got the nice raglan, raglan sleeve, raglan detail. It's very stretchy. The material itself is very stretchy and it has that nice longer length. This is the extra small on me just for reference. You can see I can wear both sizes. Many people will be able to wear both sizes. I would stay in your normal size for just a casual, easy fit. If you're between sizes and you go down, you'll get a little bit slimmer, but it has that raglan style that's just that real comfortable, like throw on, easy to put on style, okay? So extra small me. Now, if you did want to do like a little bit shorter, maybe if I had jeans on, you want, you can fold this under and up. That, that band just kind of sits great. So if you want the longer length for like legging wear, um, cover your button leggings, or if you want like kind of a shorter, more like structured sweatshirt type of look, this material and the fact there's that hang, hidden Kanga pocket in there kind of structure is structured to be able to sit like that. You can't do this with mini sweatshirts. Mini are too light, too drapey and things like that. So this will just turn under. You don't have to tuck it anywhere. You don't need to, you don't need to tuck. You don't, you just fold it under. Okay. And that's, it stays like that. This is often how I wear mine. Um, with a pair of jeans if I don't want or need the longer length at the time, but I love the longer length with leggings and just casual wear at home. Okay, so this is extra small me. I know, I'm gonna, they're saying pull this off. I know you're gonna have to push this. Now, this is garment wash, like I said. So we highly suggest, follow the note on the bag to wash this first before alone, before wearing. In garment dyeing, often when it's piece dyed like this, um, there can be some leftover dye on the material. We wash it out as much as we can, but we, we, we ask that you, you will want to wash this by itself the first time, just so it doesn't color transfer or anything like that. With a garment dye, you always want to do that, okay? And the best thing about this too is with um, 
When garment dye is done, they, these get softer and softer with wear and wash. I have worn wash mine probably 50 times. It is my go-to one I wear constantly, okay? Let's bring out Taylor in this. I'm gonna put on small for you, you can see. Ah, she's putting on my favorite look. I know, I did my try on stories I, earlier, and I did this. This, I know it's not a look for all of you, okay? But I'm kind of into, and I said on there, I'm into this whole monochromatic look going on right now. This is a trend to wear the tone on tone. Even some of you guys will probably ask, like, do they match the leggings? Okay, they're not dyed to match. They're not the exact Pantone. But if you want to do and hit that trend and you're kind of into it, um, I was kind of here for this. Okay, I, I like it. I know it's bold. I know it's a statement. I know it's a trend and some of you might hate it and that's okay. <laughs> but we wanted to show you if you do have the, um, the leggings, they can go and work perfectly as an outfit like that. Okay, extra small on her. You can see great length, nice and stretchy. It's so comfortable. You just kind of throw it on. It has a good weight to it, good structure. You can wash it a million times. It holds up fabulously. It won't pill, it won't fade. Okay, it really, really is like this durable, nice, you can put, you can be around campfire in this. Wash it as a million times as you want. It just kind of ages very, very well, okay? Okay, questions on this? Now I have the small on. Mm -mm. Natalie, it doesn't grow or stretch out at all. Nope, it, it always just retains its shape, okay? So it holds its shape well has nice stretch. It's this durable, you guys will see, this is a nice, durable, nice weighted. It's not flimsy, it's not brushed, it's not, uh, what are all the other things? Not necessarily drapey. It's a nice structured hoodie sweatshirt, but it's not thick like, it's not a thick like a Hanes with a really dense fleece on the inside. It's like a nice, perfect weight to throw on and feel substantial when you have it on. And that's why I love it so much. It feels substantial, it feels, great. It just, it just lays and sits wherever you put it, which is fabulous. So this is the small can turn this one under just like I did as well. It stays like this. I wear this one turned under a lot, like I said, but ha going up to the small for me in between a extra small and a small, this is the small, you guys saw the peach on the extra small. So in your normal size, it will be comfy, relaxed, nice fit. You have that, that dolman sleeve gives you that kind of room in the sleeve. If you want more oversized and you're between go up, if you want less, then you can go down. So I can wear either, I own both sizes. Um, this does give me a little bit longer length in leggings for that reason. Um, I don't know that I necessarily have a preference in size. Um, and like I said, just take your phone, throw it in, your keys, snacks, whatever. Okay, let's bring the rest of the girls. Okay. You guys, I know, some people are saying the blue on blue smurf, you, it might not be for you. And like I said, many of you will probably hate it and I'm totally fine with that. But I am here for a good monotone moment and I love those two together, but I know it's not for everyone. <laughs> the, the peach with the white wash jeans is fabulous as well. Everyone is in their normal size in these, okay? So everyone, Missy's normally a small and she's in the small right now, has a nice straight fit is very stretchy, has good movement in the sleeves and arms, good stretch in it too. So stay in your normal size for a casual, relaxed type of fit in this. Um, and it just kinda, you know, it just kinda lays and stays. So great with great with jeans and great with leggings, okay? Uh, Natalie in this, she's just gonna come right back out she has it on the leggings. You can do, this is the um, girlfriend tee, so if you did want a little bit longer length with this, you can do the girlfriend tee under it a little bit and it just hangs out a little bit. And that's a good like dimensional look too for layering, perfect for that um, if you did want a little bit even more extra length in it. Everyone's in their normal size. Okay, Natalie's in normal size medium. Okay, on her and then Michelle's in a large. Um, the blue is fabulous, okay? I don't know, I'm really into the blue this spring. I just, I'm not normally a big blue person. I, don't, I can't tell my favorite between the two actually, but the blue, the vibrant blue is a really, really pretty color too. Okay, so Michelle in large. And Amanda is, says extra large is a size 14. It should be, extra large should be a 14, 16, yes. right? Yes. Okay, we will, do, Amanda will double check that online when she gets upstairs, okay? Amanda is a size 16, this is the extra large on her, so you can see. Nice and stretchy, nice great fit, nice great room with the, the raglan sleeve and arm, okay? Very good, good fit on everyone. Does anyone have any questions? Um, Amanda, when you go up there, we have Natalie put on the large. We can grab a photo for you, Katie, of Natalie in the large, and we'll make sure that gets posted on the VIP page. Yeah. Um, 
Laurel, you do not need to size up for bust in this. No, that with a dorm, so when there's a raglan sleeve or a dolman sleeve, you don't have a set and sleeve fit. A set and sleeve fit is what causes or what um, would cause more of a bust fit, okay, when there's a set and sleeve. That is where your bust sleeve, if this was set in, okay, there's not a set in, not a set in sleeve in this, giving you plenty of room in bust. So I would not size up in this specifically for bust. If anything, the only reason I would size up is if you tend to be more curvy, uh, tend to be more curvy in the hips, um, that in between sizes, then maybe you want to size up because it is a straight fit for, it's like a, tu a straight tunic, tunic sweatshirt. <laughs> type of fit okay so but still very very stretchy i would not size up for bust you're gonna have plenty of room in bust okay jen says is that right uh oh but i missed her question what she asked how does this compare to oh carrie not anything like the tie-dye sweatshirt that just released completely different different in style different in fit different in material different in cut um so not compared at all <laughs> jenny likes the blue and blue she says it's fantastic rita does cover my butt yes plenty Plenty long to cover the front um, and the back in both sizes. It is on me, That this was the small of me. I can put the extra small on. Um, I love this color, you guys, I actually love. Jen says, is it warm for cold weather? Yes, it is not, I would not call it a lightweight sweater. I would call it a good mid, or sweatshirt, sorry, a good mid weight for a sweatshirt. It's not a heavy weight, so it's not that big, thick, like your Hanes, Gildan, thick really thick but it's not like a super light it's honestly the perfect transitional weather i wore this last weekend to um livy's soccer game she's actually playing on two soccer teams right now so i feel like i'm always on the soccer field i wore this last weekend when it was chilly here and it was perfect so i it's not like a like i said does not have that thick warm fleece but the weight of the material with the um the inside uh french terry is what gives it like a good structure. So I would not say super lightweight. I wouldn't say it's super winter weight. It's a good midweight. <laughs> Any questions? So yes, Jen, um, it would be warm for cool weather. Like it would be perfect. I also wear this on my walks. I wore this on the beach. When was I was at, I was at Barb's in May. I wore this in May at Barb, Barbara's house <laughs> on Fire Island in May on the beach. And it was chilly and I needed to grab it for the beach. So it's a good like... Honestly, it's my good like year round. I grab it like if I need a really thick hoodie, okay, I'm going there. But most of the time I need something light or I need something mid. And that's what I'm reaching for in my closet. This is a good mid transitional weight. Florida people, you need this um, in your winters. <laughs> this is good for there. My mom, my mom's in Florida right now and she's like, it's cold, send me something mid weight I can wear with this, okay? So it's a good mid weight and it will be good for around a campfire. I, my kid, like summer camp, when you need the kid, like you need something, cool nights. When I say cool nights, I'm thinking like Texas now, not Texas in the summer. Okay, but good transition for that. Okay, how do they compare to the essential light? Oh, Greta, it's not a tee. It's a sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt. It's not a tee. Okay, loving the blue so much. It's my favorite color. Um, the terry is structured, so it's not a brushed out terry. Let me see if I can pull it. Uh, let's see if you can see it here. Okay. It's not, it's like a cotton, like has a good cotton feel, but my pink one that I have worn since we started designing this in, in sampling, I've worn and washed and probably by the second or third wash, it just feels like that great worn in nice sweatshirt. So when you first get this, it feels a little bit like it has some excess dye on it. And it likely does. So send this to the washer and dryer. The more times you wash it and dry, it just kind of becomes more and more and more soft. But the way it's garment dyed will always kind of have, when you first get it, will kind of feel like it's got some excess dye on it. So go ahead and wash it, like I suggested, because it will get continue to get softer with wear. Okay, can you push? Yes, the, the sleeves are great for pushing up. I can go all the way above my elbow, and this is the extra small on me. Okay, questions, any other questions? <laughs> any chance Amanda could put on the tie-dye top? Um, was she not in it? I thought she was in it last week. Was she not in it last week? We'll, we'll see if we can show. Okay, all right, let's bring out, what am I, oh, mm. I'm done, and I need to move on to the next thing. <laughs> Why did I think I still had models to pull out? Okay. Um, that is the wash pocket sweatshirt. If you have any further questions, and it is stretchy. Did I mention that? Did I mention how stretchy <laughs> stretchy it is? The ribbed is really stretchy. It, 
I don't know how to tell you that this is like the perfect grab. Like you need to grab and go. You out, you're out, you're going on a walk with the dogs, you're taking the kids to the park, you're going to soccer games like me, and you just need that one sweatshirt that isn't too heavy, is not too thick, and is not too late, light, and is not necessarily just a super lightweight type of thing. You know you need a little bit of structure, a little bit of warmth, this is it. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Next up is our perfect V-neck tank and the floral, what did we call this floral? Hold on, spring floral. Um, you guys know, and we say it every time, and every time I show a floral, our designers are the most talented designers on the planet because when they design, look at this, you guys. Look at the colors in here. So there's pinks, okay, there's corals, there's a little pop of white, there's some greens and blues in this kind of smaller, ditzy kind of floral pattern. Look at this, look at, you get a little bit of this kind of teal green, even there's some orange pops in here. Super, super pretty, kind of lends this like pink, purple overall type of color on this and um, goes with so much. The ground color on this is a dark, like a dark, let me bring it way up so you can see. It's like a dark, dark navy. You can see, so it really just, all those colors work together to make this really, really pretty um, purpley pink cast floral. This is our perfect V-neck tee design. So we released this in ivory, white and black, okay? <laughs> New fashion color in this. This is our wrinkle-free, wad this up in your suitcase. I actually just took both of these to Vegas last week. I had them wadded up in my suitcase, didn't need to seam them, didn't need to iron them. They have the adjustable straps, they have the V-neck front and back, and the best thing about it is they are super stretchy. So whatever size you are in our lace version, we made last fall and the fall before, probably the fall before. Um, whatever size you are in that, you'll be that same size in this. It is a relaxed fit, in my opinion, a relaxed fit. So between sizes or no, not busty can go down in this because um, it's super stretchy. So if you want to use some of the stretch, you can likely size down. I prefer the extra small um, in this. Let's bring the girls out in this one, as you can see. Okay, and you're going to see lots of ways this spring that you can, I don't know why you guys, I for some reason, my camera must be a little different this time, but I got everything piled up in your view, so you can see. Um, okay, lots of different ways you can wear this and style this. So you can dress it up, you can do it through the workplace. Obviously, we have this kind of match and coordinating look going on, which is fabulous in this one. Okay, so if you're looking for like workwear, dress up, dress occasions, coordinating looks, this is fabulous. She's got it on with the navy work pants, which pulls out the blues in here, and then the pink, um, what did we call that? Uh, what is, what is, what's the color of this? Cactus. Cactus flower, cactus flower, there we go. So pretty, the pink's in there. So you guys know we're gonna make stuff that works to coordinate with this, or you can do a denim jacket, or you can go neutral under it and let it show off. Options are endless, but this is a great um, kind of workwear dress up type of look. She's in her normal size extra small, okay? And then Missy in this, another, another way I was just gonna say, put it with a denim jacket and let it show off. <laughs> That's the best way to do this in my opinion. And if you wanted it to be matchy, we've got matchy ways you can do this. But if you wanna just throw it over with a light wash denim jacket, the mid wash denim jacket, um, you can even do black with this would be fine. But she's also kinda got a dressier style look little bit with a heel. She put the leather skirt with it. The best thing about the ground color in this being that kind of darker navy color is that you can do blacks with it. It doesn't look like you're kind of clashing or the, I know some people are funny about navy needs the blacks because I particularly am, but it does it. It works well, I think because the floral is so over colored. Okay. So normal size small on her. Everyone's in their normal size small in this. If between is where I say, I suggest the size down. Okay. Natalie in this. Pulling out the white, okay, you can see in these cardigans, we've launched them, we're waiting for this one to come in so you can see. Pulling out the white in there. So whether you coordinate with the color, the pinks, the corals, the light pinks, the dark, more purpley cactus pinks, or just a light or a cream or even the blues, okay? You're gonna find a million things from Grace and Lace in your closet that look, look good with this. Natalie in her normal size medium. Michelle in this one, the leather jackets are perfect too. Leather like jackets. You can always add a structure with this. Um, I, layering tanks are my perfect type of, or layering cami are my perfect type of way to add a little bit of dress up for a date night, for an event or whatever. You just feel a little bit more elevated, but you're in super comfort because you got that stretchy material, adjustable straps. Michelle in her normal size large. And then Amanda in this. <laughs> um, and she's pulling out the lighter pinks, okay? So you get the choice. You can go with the lighter, pull out the darker, the deeper, the purples, the blues. 
Um, you name it, there's lots of combos you can do with this. Okay, Amanda in her normal size extra large. Any questions on this one? I would stay in your normal size um, in this, unless you're between sizes, um, or especially between sizes and not busty. If between and not busty go down, I can put this one on for you. I'm just gonna throw it over my tank, which you guys know will look. Um, this is extra small and this is the size that I prefer. So if you haven't ordered one of our camis, just stick with your normal cami sizing if you have ordered with us before. If you haven't before and, um, <laughs> okay, I'm normally, um, I'm between an extra small and a small. I can wear usually both of everything, okay? And this is the extra small on me and this is the size I much prefer in this, especially because there's stretch. So the, the material has um, good stretch. So between sizes, I would size, size down. Okay, Dorothy says, I love taking these on vacation. I, isn't it great? I, when I packed them to bed, I was like, I am bringing that because I can put this in my suitcase and I don't have to worry about it. Um, any other questions? Oh shoot, I missed, um, I missed the note about Michelle untucking it. Okay, perfect layer. Best in your regular size. Yes, the best in your cami size that you normally order for us. If you're between sizes or not, not busty, that's when you probably could size down. Okay, any questions? Um, thanks Kathleen. She says we do the best florals. I agree. Okay, it's really pretty. Adds that like good berry hue. Like doesn't it really bring out like just those berry, it's like all the colors together really work to bring out the colors, um, the overall kind of berry color in this. All right, let's move on. I feel like I'm talking too much today. Um, long sleeve, <laughs> long sleeve twist front top. This is the one that I was saying that um, this is a new material for us, and we developed this material specifically for this style of top. And when we fit it, and we came in, and we adjusted fit, I, I literally said to the design team, I'm like, darn it, we probably should have made, we probably should make all long sleeve tops in this material. So what makes this material so special is it looks like to you like a drapey jersey, right? And it's not. That's the best thing. It's a higher end, it's actually a micro rib knit, but you can't tell it's ribbed. Okay, it's just this really, really, like it looks like a jersey and it hangs like a jersey and acts like a jersey, but it's a substantial knit that's super soft and very stretchy. And so when I got this and we fit it, I was like, this is literally like the best fitting top that I think we've ever made. And I'm like, can we just please do long sleeves in this? Or we needed to do other colors or something. But the feature on this is really all here up at this twist front knot. It takes what could be like an easy, well, shoot. Hold on, let me try to get <laughs> let me try to get my tank out of the way. There we go. Well, not really. Okay, what could have been, um, what could be, and what feels like? Well, you guys, I feel like there. Can I hide? Can I hide my tank so you guys can see? No. Does it feel knotty and chunky? Not at all. It's not. It's not tight. And in fact, you can't even really tell that that's open there at all. Okay. So forget. Forgive my my tank showing you don't need to wear a tank under it it's perfectly modest okay and it just this isn't tight and it's not high like it just kind of sits beautifully and look at how perfectly fit this is nice and stretchy material not jersey okay has a little bit of substance to it but still feels really light and wearable okay it's not super warm but it's that perfect long sleeve honestly when you get this please go tell my vip <laughs> Please go tell the VIP page that you want this in regular long sleeve tops or other colors or not with the knot or something because um, your feedback on there gets like reported um, up to us and the lead team. And so please, please tell them because um, they will vote. Then, then I'll have your, your vote <laughs> that this material is fabulous, okay? But the feature is really here at the twist neck and it kind of just leaves these three little open holes. It doesn't move, like it just kind of stays where you put it. You don't need a layer underneath it. Um, and it just, like it elevates the style a little bit by having that little twist front. So perfect length, not too long, not too short. Please ignore my tank top underneath. This is the size small. I can wear the smaller, the extra small because of the great stretch. So true to size, um, fit on this. And you'll see, it looks gorgeous on everyone, okay? Um, bra friendly, wear another normal bra, but just you just elevating your style um, and the look a little bit with this twist front. Okay. And so many of you are saying this mystic purple is your favorite color. So I'm glad we chose the one color that we did in this. Um, I'm glad we chose this color. We actually haven't done this color before, but it's a really pretty, um, really pretty like deep purple. Okay. Not too bright, but a really pretty jewel 
like really, really pretty jewel tone. So great way to elevate an outfit. You can tuck it all the way in if you wanted to tuck it all the way in and wear it with a belt, but it has this good length. Ignore my tank underneath, okay? It has a really good length and shape and cut that if you wanted to just wear it out, like not even tuck it in, um, it's the perfect length for that too. Okay, okay. Loving this color and style. The knot does not feel chunky, Tamara. You actually, um, you don't, you don't feel it. You don't even know it's there at all. Like maybe you might feel like a draft where the open holes are, but you don't really know it's there. Let's bring out everyone in this, okay? Taylor's in this. Okay. And you're just gonna see, this is one of those tops that just let, let it do its own talking, okay? Let it just be its own thing because you're showing off the neckline here. Just throw a pair of jeans on it and that's all you need. Okay, you could do work pants, you could dress this up, you could make it for a date night, you could do a cardigan over it, you could do a long sleeve um, vest or a shawl or something like that if you wanted to dress this up a little bit more. The material is great for everyday wear, um, but it also can be elevated. That's what I like and I'm so glad we didn't use a jersey in this because the, the knit fabric, the way it kind of just sits on your body and feels is perfection for this style. Okay, normal size, extra small on her. Okay, and then Missy in this one, size small. Um, you can see everyone looks fabulous in this. The, the keyholes, the little detail at the neck, the way it fits in the sleeve, the way it fits in the body, it's very like, just gives you kind of this boost of confidence when you wear it. It feels really great on, looks great on everyone. Killer design, <laughs> our design team on this one, size small on her, okay? And then Natalie in this in a medium. Um, same thing, purple, and look at this color on everyone. Everyone's hair color looks fabulous with. It's that jewel tone that really just kind of, it just, it's just a great, a great top. <laughs> it's a great top, okay? Um, looks fabulous on everyone, okay? And then Michelle, and, or Amanda, <laughs> in this one, and she's got it all the way tucked in, okay? Pair of boots, kind of elevated a little bit more, made it more of a dressy date, type, type, date night type of look, and you can do that easily as well by turning it into that. Okay, any questions? This is a size small. I can try on the extra small too if um, someone wants to throw me one. Um, okay, they'll, they'll throw one down to me. I didn't, I didn't have the two sizes with me here. Okay, any questions on this? I will try on the extra small for you when it comes down. I have to solve for them. This is the size small. Um, and see how pretty the neck detail is just kind of sits open, like just kind of falls and sits open. You don't need to mess with it. It doesn't really move. I was only messing with it because I had my, you know, this tank under. So you don't need to wear anything. Just, you get, I, I have a feeling. And if you love it, like I said, please come tell the VIP page um, because it's your votes on there that get us making more of the designs that um, you love, okay? Any questions on this one? Um, holy spam people. We're getting the spam people off. <laughs> um, it really is a um, pretty purple, fabulous purple top. We're going to go on and talk about Mel's faves next. When they come down, um, I'll put that one on for you. Okay. Mel's fave denim is back. <laughs> the craze that started the craze. And if anyone, actually, you guys need to tell me. I feel like I'm not the only one that has at least seven pairs of Mel's fake denim in my closet, all right? I can't be the only one, thank you. Um, I cannot be the only one, right? Does anyone else? I need like a show of hands, wave of hands, okay? Of anyone who has more than two pairs of Mel's fake denim in their closet. So the original pair that started the craze, this is two from two years ago now, was the Mel's fave Distressed and Non in this light um, midwash, okay? So we're back with that original color, original wash, um, the only thing we did differently is we just changed up the distressing just a little bit. I think the original had like two patches of knee distressing. This one just has like the one patch of knee distressing and a little scuff right here. Um, the back is totally solid on this one. And then it's that raw um, cut to length hem, like what we want we to say. Obviously you can cut any hem. But what this allows you to do is not necessarily have to edit the hem you can, or um, alter the hem. You can just cut this, raw cut it off with the scissors, and it will be um, it will be whatever length you cut it to. Okay, this is back in its original fit, original wash, slight distressing differences. If you missed out on that one, time to grab this one back. And then adding the new color in the non-distress this year, and I think we call this um, dark wash. Do I call it dark wash? Why does that sound right? I don't have a name for the wash on mine, but I think it's called, and I can't read the screen. Is it called dark wash? 
sorry, I'm going to call it dark wash as <laughs> it is a dark wash. A dark okay. Dark, um, dark denim. There we go. Dark wash denim. And this is the pair that I have right on now. Now, if you're looking for, we get a lot of, a lot of people on the VIP page saying make darker denim, make darker denim. This is your, this is for you. This is your dark denim for you. It is a nice solid. Okay. Look at how dark this is. What I love about this shade is that it's not too blue. A lot of times, like when you get to dark to the indigo blue side, it comes out really bluey. We really wanted to stick with a midnight, a good solid dark on here that um, you can see maybe a little bit closer um, that um, is like, and you can tell, see, you can see it against black that it's like a good, it's a really good non too blue, <laughs> not non too blue side of blue. So this is your dressy option. This is your date night. This is your um, event at church or whatever, because this is your finished hem, non-distressed. So this one does have the finished hem right here. There's a little fuzz on there. Okay, so this one does have the finish. If you wanna alter this, like I've always said, and I mentioned before, ask for a French hem, go take it to get altered, ask for a French hem. They'll use this original hem and just move it up and you'll never know your pants are ever hemmed. Or of course you can raw cut this if you do want to cut this, but kind of the finished hem adds to this kind of dressier type look. Now, Mel's fave denim fit are a relaxed fit. Now, meaning in your normal size, the intentional fit of these is a nice, relaxed, comfortable, kind of give you just like this like loose fit through the hip and the waist. That's how they are intended to be. That's how we made them to be like this comfortable type of fit. Now, because they are that comfortable fit, some people do size down in these. Between sizes, um, a lot of people size down in these. I'm between a, a two and a four. This is the two on me and the size that I do prefer in these. Now, a lot of times black and dark dye denim does affect the fit of denim. So we had to counteract that a little bit. We really did not want these to come in too tight. I hate it when that happens with dark washes. So we counteracted that a little bit in the fit. So this dark wash does fit just a tad bit more relaxed than this light wash version. So kind of keep that in mind. It's only a tad bit, you might not notice it, but if you're between sizes, in your normal size, you won't notice it, but between sizes might notice it a little bit. Between sizes, honestly, you guys, most people will be able to wear two sizes in this denim. The best thing about it is it's nice, light, light, nice lightweight. It's not a thick weight. It um, has a good light stretch to it. Still very structured, but nice and comfortable and stretchy. So in your normal size, you get this casual, nice, looser style, okay, with that looser style leg fit. Um, some people do size down because they want them a little bit snugger. I'm between a four, I'm usually size four, can wear a size two. The size four, I own both sizes. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna help you. I've got fours in the seven, at least seven pairs I have in my closet. I have size, at least half in size four and half in size two. I can, between sizes and I can wear both comfortably. The four gives me a looser, more looser, relaxed style fit and look, and the two gets a little bit more slim and a little bit more skinny. I do like the two and do prefer the two in the darker wash because to me, this, I prefer a little bit more of the skinnier look in a dressed up wash like this. To me, this wash is like a dressy, classy, date night um, type of a wash and color, and I like the slimmer fit for that reason. Um, these, I, in fact, I wore these yesterday what did, I checked the sizing and I had a four on, but I definitely have two, twos as well. So stay in your normal size for intended fit. If between sizes, um, size down if you want them more snug, size up if you want them more loose. Let's bring the girls out, okay. And we're gonna talk about what size they're in too so you can kind of see their sizes. Okay, um, Taylor in this, I'm gonna say you zero, right? She's always a zero, okay, normal size zero. So you can see. The intended fit on this is to be a little bit looser at the hip. Okay, so we want that kind of, we're, we're hitting this looser denim leg trend in all of the fit in this. That is the intended fit. They do relax just very slightly with wear, not a lot, but that is the intended fit. That's why between sizes can kind of go up or down depending on their preference, okay? Um, got the little bit of the distressing on there and the raw leg cut, and then it's kind of that kick flare. Some people call that a kick flare type of length where it's that crop length, you could go more cropped if you wanna cut it off and be shorter, um, but it really has that nice summary, summary feel to it. Okay, I feel like you guys have so many questions. Um, Marie, in my try on stories, I do both the four and the two in these. 
in this dark wash. And that's the only, this dark wash is the only one that I prefer, that I definitely prefer the two in, okay? In the light wash, um, in this light wash, I can go either way because some days are like four days for me when I'm like, bleh, like ate too much food <laughs> yesterday. I want my four, I don't wanna wear skinnies, but I wanna wear something that's more slouchy, more casual. Um, but I, I do prefer the two in this one because like I said, we didn't want this to come in too tight and too fitted, making it too small. We So it, it does have a little bit more of that generous fit in this one. Okay, let's bring out everyone else. <laughs> See it on everyone. Missy and these, and she's in her, are you normal size? Eight or six. Okay, eight. Eight, but I have them in a six also. Okay, I was gonna say, I bet she could wear the six comfortably in this, okay? Because yep. so, she, in the eights, she's loose here in her hip, okay? And she's probably really comfortable in her waist, right? Okay, so I she, <laughs> she can eat pasta in these. That's a good way to say it. Okay, I'm putting my fours on if I'm going out for a pasta dinner. Okay, so um, the eights give her, which is her normal size with us, a comfortable, loose, styled fit. For something dressy like this and elevated, she probably would go down to the six in for um, just to get a little bit snugger fit. Um, but if you like that loose style, if you like that comfortable look and prefer that, then stay in your normal size. But some people will be able to size down in these. Okay, that was a good example. Oh my gosh, I feel like you guys have so many questions I'm missing, okay. Um, the dark wash, yes, Sarah. So the dark wash is slightly, just very slightly bigger than, than the way this will feel on. And that is because we have to count, we wanted to counteract the dye, dark dye. Anytime you dye anything dark, black, dark, these are very dark. The dye always shrinks the material. Okay, so we did not want these to come in tighter where everyone had to size up. So it's only very slightly looser. Most of you won't even feel a difference, honestly, um, because it's not even a half grade. It's not even, it's not a half size difference or anything that it's just very slightly looser. But when you're between sizes like me and I can wear the fours and I can wear the twos, then I do have a preference in this pair to wear the twos in this pair. All right, I hope that makes sense for everyone. Everyone in like normal size, like who doesn't usually size or sometimes size down, but Missy sometimes sizes down in our stuff. Um, so that's kind of a good comparison for those who sometimes size down. Okay, Natalie in these. Okay, normal size, 10. 10. But is this the size you stick with? Yeah. Okay. She's comfy, she's stretchy, she's not too tight. Like she likes, you like, you tend to like your jeans not as tight. Yes. Right? Yes, okay. She tends to not, she likes the looser fit in her denim. So if you like a nice looser fit in denim and don't wanna go to the skinnies, then don't size down. Just stay in your normal size, especially in this color. They will be a nice, comfortable fit in your normal size, okay? Um, they aren't tight. Sarah, last year's version, all versions haven't been, Oh, white, yeah, no, don't compare them to the white. We're only, we're only comparing to the original, okay, the original fit. If you have, or if you have the full length version, that's a good comparison. If you have the full length version, whatever you like in Mel's fave full length, then get in these, okay? That's a good comparison for those. And then this one's just very slightly looser than the, the darker, but not enough, only really able to tell if you're between sizes. Okay, Michelle and Lise. <laughs> Michelle's in her normal size, what is your normal 10. size now? Okay, normal size 10. Michelle just keeps shrinking. <laughs> Normal size 10, started up at 16, we're just making our way down to 13. Okay, fabulous with the sweatshirt. I mean, this is like spring. I wear these jeans, no joke. Well, ask anyone upstairs. Um, at least three times, <laughs> three times a week, because so I have seven pairs in my closet. They're truly my faves when I say they're my faves. But love this wash, love it with that sweatshirt. That's perfect. Okay, Amanda and these. Um, Amanda and her normal size 16, graphic tee with this, sandal, the thing with this length, you guys, is you can do, I'm in bare feet, but you can do heels with this, you can do flip-flops with this, you can do sneakers with this, you can do slides with this, like, the length on this is, is completely and perfect for whatever you put on the bottom. Okay, um, let's see. Um, Debbie, I don't know my waist size. Um, I, my measurements are online. You can go to the measurements guide on um, graceandlace.com. Click on, scroll to the bottom, click on measurements guide. My measurements are on there. Um, these have a very comfortable waist, nice and stretchy material. So even the two has a comfortable waist on me. It doesn't get too tight in the waist. So um, if you're curvier, if your waist is slimmer, you can easily size down in these. Um, I'm just normally a four. Like if I go to the store, if I go to the mall, if I go in anywhere, I'm always grabbing a four. But I also always usually grab a two from the rack um, because a lot of denim that's stretchy, even out in the world, 
stretchy denim, um, I can usually wear twos in as well. So I'm definitely between sizes um, in that stretchy denim. A lot of people can wear two sizes in. Okay. Questions. Is This is not a girlfriend fit. Nope. This is a regular, this is a Mel's, Mel's fave fit. Okay. Um, it literally is the perfect, the pocket placements in the back, the V here yoke, the, the material is nice and lightweight and has great stretch to it. Nice and comfortable. I know the dark wash is hard um, to see on me. I'd put on the light, light wash if I could throw them over these, okay? Um, but you can see them in my try-on stories. Like they're the perfect kick flare, cropped. We make them in full length too. <laughs> and uh, this wash, very similar, is in a, um, a full length too. Okay, um, so I would say I'm normally a four, occasionally a size two out in the world. <laughs> I can wear fours in these. I can wear twos in them. Fours give me a baggier, looser, a little bit relaxed fit, and twos give me a little bit skinnier of a fit. I prefer the twos because the black is a little bit, little tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit bigger. I prefer the twos in the dark wash. I think I mainly wear the fours in these, though I absolutely have twos and I wear those too. I just like the looser, little bit looser leg that it gives me in the fours. I tend to gravitate those um, to those a little bit more. Okay. They are a good, um, Lori, they're a good, like, I wouldn't call them like high, they're, they're a higher mid-rise, okay? They're just like right at, just right at or under my belly button, just very slightly. Nice and stretchy, comfortable fit. Um, I'm comfortable in the twos. They don't feel too tight or too snug, and they look great and perfect. <laughs> yes, the material is, the material has stretch, but it's not overly stretchy. It's not... It's not like a super stretched denim. It's a light stretch, which I personally prefer because a lot of times like the high stretch denim um, can really like stretch out or bag out easily. These don't. These have a gentle stretch to them that make them perfect. So how can I recap them all? Um, higher mid rise, functional pockets front and back, <laughs> kick flare, crop design, finish hem on this one. Raw hem on the other one, distress option on this one, and loose, relaxed, casual fit in your normal size. Between sizes go down if you want them more snug or more skinny fit. And for those of you who have Mel's Fave before, order your normal size. I'm recapping it all. Um, and the darker denim runs just a hair bigger, just a little bit bigger, um, because we didn't want it to be smaller. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I think I recapped it all. If you have any further questions on Mel's Faves, go to our Grace and Lace VIPs. Grace Ampersand Lace Gr VIPs on Facebook. Ask your questions there. We'll make sure. Last but not least, uh, we have a few more makeup bags. We talked about these the last couple of weeks. These were our free gift with purchase. We are able to get a few more of these um, from our factory rushed into us. So if you missed out on the free gift with purchase, if you missed out when we restocked them, uh last week or the week before um make sure to grab it now this you guys um i personally switched my own makeup bag over to this because of how fabulous it is opens up lays flat can see everything that's in it has a zipper pocket in the middle has pouch pockets here on the side double zipper and handle and this wipeable crushable material that just pops back for all those reasons it's the best makeup bag if you've got a teenager a preteen my daughter says when she can, she can have one, she already claimed the bright fuchsia pink, the light pink, and the black. There's just a few of them, not too many. So grab one if you missed it. And I'm rushing because we're out of time. Uh, thank you for tuning in and joining me. If you have any other questions, make sure um, to go to our Grace and Lace uh, Facebook page. And uh, you can shop everything we showed today over on graceandlace.com. And we will be back next week with another launch. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.